we were around right at the start of the emergence of Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc as a, a new variety or a, a new concept in the world of wine and, and to have been you know, at the forefront of that journey over the last 30 years has been immensely satisfying. You know, it's, it's evolution, not revolution. It's, it's small changes and fine tuning, but I think uh, if you could line up a, a wine of close to 30 years ago with one today, you know, in the same context, in the same age, um, you would see quite a difference. With viticulture, you get one crop a year, you, you get one chance to learn something about that vineyard. But when you add a number of years of experience together, suddenly you really get an understanding of, of what that vineyard delivers and contributes to your blend and, and how to get the best out of it too. So you can't shortcut that process, you've just got to spend the time. So longevity, you might say, is one of the themes of, uh, of today. Um, we're taking some museum wines. We're not showing you any current releases until we come back to the bar, mix and mingle, after lunch, over a glass of our sensational Full Barrique Pinot 2010. But the lunch wines are all, as I say, museum <coughs> wines, and we want to take you through the decade. So we've got a dish that was inspired by the 80s, a second dish inspired by the 90s, third dish by the 2000s and the fourth dish from today. But the first course was the 2007 Sauvignon, and I guess it's a little bit of a brave move to bring out a seven-year-old Sauvignon Blanc. Um, it's a wine that we think does have good longevity, and hopefully that we illustrated that today. And particularly when you're sitting down and having a wine like that with food, um, it can be quite rewarding. So I do hope you enjoyed it. So I told my father I'd like to start making wine in New Zealand and taking it to the world because I thought the country was more than capable of making world-class wines. And as many have heard me say before, my father was aghast. Each generation brings something new to, to the business and to the families. And one of mine has been being involved in New Zealand. Uh, and it is a wine that our family and our team wherever they are working, are very, very proud of. So thank you, cheers. I think the fact that we've done 30 vintages at Norfolk Estate is um, something we can look back on with immense pride. I think we've only just scratched the surface and I think the next 30 years are going to be tremendously exciting as well as you know, our knowledge and our, the vine age all accumulates and I think the wines we're going to be producing coming up are going to be just as exciting, if not more exciting, than what we produce today. Mm -hmm.